When I began AS Media, I had some previous basic knowledge of the typical conventions of a magazine, as I also did magazines for my GCSE coursework. However, I have largely improved with the understanding I have not only of typical magazine conventions, but what is appropriate for particular genres and themes. When constructing my preliminary task, I created a college magazine cover named The Social. It was bright, colourful, but in some places slightly messy. I felt it was slightly more childish than my final product that I have created. As I progress throughout the course, I have learnt in places that less is more. On my college magazine's cover, I lacked in a specific colour scheme and it had around 10 different fonts all crammed onto one page. I soon learned that a particular colour scheme makes a product look much more professional and that in reality, I only needed around four fonts on my cover. I also learned how important it is to have a professional, exciting cover image that will attract my readers rather than them look at my magazine and think it was boring. On my cover for The Social, the cover image is of a girl, sat alone, reading a book. Unfortunately, this doesn't really seem to be very sociable at all. The lighting also seems fairly average and basic. However, on my resonance cover, the model is making eye contact with the camera, attracting a potential reader to look over and pick up the magazine. By this point, I had also learnt how to photograph in the studio. This involved working with lighting, either making it brighter or darker, working with different backgrounds and also using a range of colour gels to make my images more bright and exciting. Furthermore, other conventions I have progressed to understand was constructing two new pages, a contents page and a double page spread. I learnt how to construct professional, exciting pieces that would attract a reader and also how to display these on a front cover.